Hello and welcome to a very fresh episode of Open Up Airways. I'm Dr. Taruna, your host for today, and we have got a very important conversation lined up, one that affects every breath we take, quite literally. Today, we are shining a light on a very important topic that is air pollution, an invisible threat that is choking every home and city these days. And to help us navigate to this topic, I'm delighted to welcome my colleague and respiratory health expert, Dr. S.P. Rai. It's great to have you, sir, with us. Thank you, Dr. Tarna. Pleasure being here discussing on such an important issue of the air pollution. All of us are aware that it is choking all the cities these days and causing a lot of health hazards. And even a common man aware of all these problems, at times he feels like frustrated also what to do. Air pollution is a cause of serious concern and uh, normally say in the, during the winter's times it peaks and uh, like uh, at times it crosses 400, 500 that air quality index which is considered to be very unsafe. Normally like during that period people they start having irritation, throat, coughing, breathlessness, chest tightness. It's a common scene to see people walking, covering their face with the handkerchief, the pattas, which is usually they do not offer the protection. So they must use the mask to protect them from the air pollution. Rightly said, sir. And it's not about the few cities of India anymore. The issue currently is that the recent report of WHO says 14 out of 20 cities across the world are from India. And that says a lot. Also, sir, many of our listeners have heard the terms like AQI and particulate matter. What does that exactly mean? Can you please explain us in terms of respiratory health? AQI stands for the Air Quality Index. That is a measure for quality of air what we are breathing. So it has been given different numbers, the up to 50 A AQI that is considered to be good. As the numbers increases, 50 to 100, it is moderate, more than 100, it is uh, unhealthy, the more than 300, it becomes hazardous. And uh, in certain parts of the our country, especially in northern India during the winter, we found the air quality index going beyond 500, 600 also at that time. So what happens because of this poor air quality, the people start getting the problems like they start having the breathing problem, chest tightness, wheezing. So especially those who are sick, they start getting the problem. So you had asked about the particular matters. Now this air quality index is decided based on the five things. One is the particulate matters of the various sizes 2.5 and 10 microns. So these are the small particles, usually dust sort of dust, smoke sort of the particles which are there. 2.5 microns particles, they reaches into the our lungs. Those, the PM10 level particles, because their size is little large, they are stuck up in the upper respiratory tract is mainly in the throat. So 2.5 micron particles, they go deep into the lungs, they cause more problems. Other than that, like sulfur dioxide is there, nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and the radons are there. They are included to measure this, the air quality index. So just because the sky looks clear doesn't mean the air is clean. That's what makes the air dangerous these days. These particles come from the things like uh, traffic, smoke, garbage, factories, and things which we cannot think about. These are invisible, but they may trigger the very bad respiratory illnesses. You might get the symptoms like cough, allergies, breathing issues, and if you're already dealing with asthma or lung problem, things can even get worse. So please take care. So let's say someone does not have any kind of respiratory illnesses, asthma or COPD. So can you suggest us some uh, ways the person can have the health problems in that case? That's an important question. We all know, like those who are predisposed, they will have problems. But even healthy persons also, if the air quality index is very poor category, hazardous, more than 300, 400, 
even a healthy person they will also start getting itching over the eyes irritation into the throat they can have coughing the breathing problems so you normally in a healthy person who are not having any susceptible lung disease or other problems the air pollution to the unsatisfactory level will not cause much problem but if it is in the like uh, very poor or that uh, hazardous category more than 300 400 then definitely the, even a normal person will also start having problems okay sir so let's imagine if a person has respiratory illness like asthma or copd what would be the additional risk in that person would be if he is or she is in the environment of air pollution which is as bad as 300 or 400 aqi a susceptible person like a patient having asthma or who has got copd or some interstitial lung disease any other chronic problem like diabetes also so they are more susceptible and we know ki like uh, asthma copd ild they the flare up takes place the exacerbation takes place they get more symptoms more problems when they are exposed to anything which irritates the airways it may be the in form of dust smoke fumes or uh, any infection so they aggravate the things they definitely increases the symptoms problem and that can cause the severe flare ups of the disease and person can have like breathing problem chest tightness wheezing he may be fighting for the breath at times he has to visit to the hospital emergency also with the acute attacks so we clearly understand how serious the current issue is about this air pollution even a normal person who does not have any breathing issues or respiratory illnesses get affected by it and even the person who already has the respiratory issues is getting their symptoms worse so we clearly see how serious the impact of air pollution is but on a practical note what can people actually do to protect themselves and their families in this uh, very serious environmental crisis which we are facing today great point dr tarun we start with the general prevention which everyone can apply the first thing is ki whenever air quality index is poor you can check it on your telephone mobile these days they have got uh, all mobiles check what is the air quality index if it is poor or very unsatisfactory category then you can decide morning and evening walks you can avoid going outdoor or uh, usually the you can do the exercises in the house rather than going the outdoor and uh, you can devise certain strategies to keep yourself fit while staying indoors very well said sir especially people who like to go out for the morning walk like me as well so we specifically go out to get that clean air and get our respiratory system pumped up and get that fresh air but the critical thing here is the days when the aqi is very high or the city is the aqi is very high it's better if we get some well fitted mask if we still want to get out in that bad air and protect ourselves from those harmful particles right at home keep your doors and windows closed you can use the air purifiers that will help you the switch to the cleaner fuel if someone is using that uh, the chula or uh, some stove other thing to so switch to the cleaner fuel all these things they will help also so i think uh, our food habits are also very important eating uh, the food which is rich in antioxidants plays a very important role right now uh, we can add up green leafy vegetables citrus fruits and even the nuts and seeds going to be very helpful now for people living with asthma copd or some other chronic lung disease the same principle applies same rule applies but they need to be more careful because all these things the pollution can trigger the attacks the asthma copd people they need to take their inhalers especially controllers so that the disease should remain in the check regularly then those the people should get vaccinated annual flu vaccination 
those above 65 they should take the pneumococcal vaccination also to prevent against any type of infection in indoor the pollution you can reduce it by using the air purifier then you need to keep other things also into the check like uh, if some smoker is there uh, the you need to motivate them to quit smoking so that uh, the one is the passive smoking is also being taken care if pets the other things are there then to some extent air purifier with the hepa filters they can take care of that uh, pet dander the other type of the dust also so indoor uh, this thing also you need to take if someone has got the problem of allergy avoid those allergens uh, so that their asthma remains under the control also another tip we should not just look at the aqi we should also look at the particulate matter or the component of the aqi which is high and the other thing is uh, people who are more prone to respiratory diseases should take care of themselves more uh, cautiously and uh, even a few minutes of exposure to high aqi environment high air pollutants could lead into the exacerbation of the symptoms like wheezing and acute shortness of breath i guess these are the things uh, every person and the people who are more prone to catching the infection who are uh, having the respiratory illnesses should take care of definitely sir has given us very good insight about air pollution and its impact on our health to sum it up all the pollution may be in air and it's quite invisible to our normal eyes but the prevention is definitely in our hands if you or any of your family members are having asthma COPD or any of the chronic lung diseases then make sure they take their medications regularly properly and keep that disease under the control a little prevention will help from getting any of the the disease exacerbations thank you for listening to the open up airways and the next time breathe safe and live smart